y'all it's your girl fega and i'm back with another video and today's video is all about my experience my first time at a hammam in morocco so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe like comment share let's get right into the video so i went to the hammam three months ago that was in january the same day i shot my riding the fastest train in africa so if you haven't seen it yet please do check it out here is a link yeah so i was so tired that day and a friend suggested we do her mom so we went to the place i think it's called something video so the place was so nice and all but i had to wait for like 20 to 30 minutes because i think the place was packed or something yeah so i was called to go to the first floor yeah it was the first floor and the woman told me i couldn't enter with my phone so i was I was really not happy about that because I wanted to vlog for you guys. So I entered the changing room, took off my clothes and everything. I was given it, I think, a towel, a flip flop, then a locker to put my stuff in. But luckily for me, I didn't have to share the hammam room with any. I didn't have to share my room with anyone. The place was empty. I think that's why they made me wait for 20 to 25 minutes. I don't know why. But yeah, I didn't share my room with anyone. But the thought of going naked. <laughs> you should have seen me that day. The thought of going naked in front of someone made me skeptical in the beginning. But I was like, they are women. So I entered and I was alone. They took me to this place. I think that's the first phase of the hammam. She asked me if I was comfortable and I wasn't comfortable and I think it was showing like I was I was like this the whole time and I didn't take off my panty. My after my friend told me I was supposed to take my panty off. I didn't take off my panty. I think that's what made them notice I was uncomfortable and that was my first time. So at the first phase I think she fetched hot water and she started pouring it on me, scrubbing my body and the whole time I was this, I was like this. Then I remember she asking in Arabic if I want to scrub my own body <laughs> with the soap and I said yes. <laughs> so she gave me the soap and I like I did it by myself then she poured the hot water then we went to the second room the second room she made me lay on this stone i don't know what it's called so if you know what it's called let me know in the comment section so she made me lay on this stone then she got her gloves and i think this particular sponge they use i don't know what it's called also i think it's sponge so she used that to scrub my back five minutes she was so scrubbing my back and then that that i saw i'm like didn't i just take my bath this morning <laughs> so as she kept on scrubbing she kept pouring water warm water and she made me turn at this point i was so not comfortable so this other woman came started pouring water on me it was really nice because the water was warm and all that yeah and it got to the point she wanted to scrub in between my thighs and my private part your girl was still wearing her panty so she gave me the sponge to do it myself <laughs> i'm sorry guys anyone who has been to the hammam knows how if like it feels like for the first time by the way the room was so nice and warm and so huge but the fact that i was there alone made me even more uncomfortable i don't know why that was the case like i was alone there i was supposed to be comfortable she kept scrubbing my hair my back everything and okay but it like it got really rough i think that's how they do it but i don't know why it got really really rough so i started seeing death coming off my skin and i'm like i took my bath this morning so that's why it got really rough because she was trying to get all the dirt off my skin but she was so nice like nice like i could tell she was trying to make me comfortable so she kept smiling she kept looking me in the eyes smiling uh, pouring water on me like so many times just to get me wet or something so she could scrub well 
I think your first hammam shouldn't be rough like mine. You could communicate with the person to tell her or him what you want. But I think because I couldn't speak Arabic, that's why mine go rough. I think I received 30 to 40 minutes hammam experience. 20 minutes of it was for scrubbing. She wanted to wash my hair and I was having this wig. So I was like, no, you can't wash it. Like, no. I couldn't speak Arabic, so I just shook my head. So I think you shouldn't go with wigs or something. Or if you could get something to cover your hair, you shouldn't go. It felt really good. Like I felt so smooth. Like my skin felt so smooth. So after you are done, they take you to this room just for you to relax, lie down. They have magazines and all that. So yeah, and I think after five minutes, I left because i had to catch my train back to my city so after five minutes i went back oh yeah they gave me a key to my locker i forgot to say that one so they give you a key to your locker so i went back changed i went downstairs the owner was around she asked me how i felt where i was from it seemed nice so you all could visit that particular spa whenever you find yourself in tanji so i think you know i would love to go to the hammam again so if you happen to find yourself in morocco you should visit the hammam have this experience just like i did and trust me you're going to enjoy it i hope this video was helpful i wasn't all over the place and I appreciate you all for subscribing to my channel and deciding to watch to watch me. I hope you all staying safe out there and don't forget to pray always. Okay, I love you all. Thanks for subscribing, liking my videos and sharing. God bless you and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.